What's going on YouTube? Gene Seer. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are going to be using a weakness policy Mel Metal team that features Trick Room, Life Orb, Palkia. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Seriously, guys, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for supporting me as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my man, Gail. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, make sure you guys head over to Twitter. Link down in the description below. Either tweet at me or DM me your guys' rental codes over on Twitter. I love getting fan-made teams and I love using them for YouTube videos. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Volcanion over here. Volcanion is such a cool Pokemon, but it is definitely very underwhelming in Series 13. It has Water Absorb as its ability, the Assault Vest as its item, and then the moveset is going to be Steam Eruption, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Flash Cannon. Second Pokemon is going to be that lovely Life Orb Palkia with the Pressure ability. This Pokemon is super strong. I really do like it in the Dynamax form. It's got Hydro Pump, Spatial Run, both of them are going to be our stat moves, and it's rocking Earth Power for coverage, and Trick Room for, you know, Trick Room purposes. Middle left is going to be Amoongus, a great support mod for a Trick Room team. Amoongus has Regenerator as its ability, and then it's holding that Koba Berry to help it eat up a Air-type move. It's got Rage Power to protect the ally Pokemon, support to put Pokemon to sleep, Palm Puff to do damage or to heal ally Pokemon, and then last but not least, it is rocking out with Protect for its fourth and final move. Next Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Incineroar is just good on any single team. Ever since it's been released into the game, everybody's been rolling with it, and it's just been so good in every single meta. It's got Intimidate and the Shukaberry as its item. Then the normal moveset is going to be Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, and Snarl. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be another Trick Room setter for the team. It is going to be Slowking over here. Really cool Pokemon, definitely an off-meta Pokemon. Hopefully we get to showcase them in today's video. It's got Oblivious alongside with the Wakan Berry as its item. It's rocking Bulldoze to actually proc weakness policy on Mel Metal. Then it has Scald for stab damage. You want to put Pokemon to sleep and then Trick Room to set the Trick Room. Final Pokemon is going to be that Mel Metal. Mel Metal is an incredibly strong Pokemon, especially in the Trick Room because it can just outspeed everybody and do a crazy amount of damage. It's got Iron Fist as its ability and it's got the weakness policy as item. High Horsepower, Thunder Punch, Double Iron Bash, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with some weakness policy, Mel Metal, Trick Room team. First battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a pretty cool team. This guy's rocking Kai Ogre, Lunala, and Zacian. And then he has Whimsicott for support, Victini, and last but not least, it is rolling out with the Charizard. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like leading Sloking here to set the Trick Room. I feel like that's just our play, right? Sloking is nice. That's 202 HP, which is rather high. I feel like it could set Trick Room pretty easily. So I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. So Slowking, come on down here. You're getting a lead. Who could he also lead? Could lead the Wimscott. Could lead Lunala, who's not bad. But I feel like I should lead the Mel Metal. Maybe just protect him and kind of go from there. Protect, pop Trick Room. Try to win the battle, right? Sounds really good. Does sound really good. We'll bring Palkia in the back end. And then last but not least, just to kind of counter up onto the Zacian. I think Incineroar would be good. Or we can even go Volcanion here. Volcanion's not bad with that Assault Vest. I kind of dig it. Especially if he's going to set the brain. Steam Eruption can do a decent amount of damage. Do I go Volcanion? I mean, he has a lot of special attackers. The only physical attacker I see is going to be that Zacian. So, yeah, let's go Volcanion. We do have the Soul Fest with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, yo, question of the day is a bang. What is your guys' thoughts on the new Diglett form in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? They just released uh, footage of the new uh, Diglett form called, uh, what is it, Wiglet? And it's like a taller, more like flimsy diglet it's hilarious if you guys haven't seen the video definitely go check it out but let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below but our opponent's gonna end up leading victini alongside with lunala um a little scary because he can final gambit me so do i still go for trick room and the protect could definitely be our play i still think we go for it he could final gambit me but i think we should be fine here. i'm just gonna trick him and protect lunala could actually counter trick which could be a pain could definitely be a pain. So let's see what he does. I'm going to protect my Mel Metal. Hopefully he attacks my Mel Metal. As you know. I'm just looking to do this. And he's going to go for Hypnosis. Which we do block. It's a big time turn. It's a big time turn. And he's going to work up. He's going to work up with the Victini. Kind of scary a little bit. He's going to get that huge boost. The attack is going to raise. His special attack is going to raise. And Trick Room is going to pop. Okay. So now that we pop a Trick Room. Um, hmm. 
I'm thinking of just going straight into a yawn into the Lunala slot, right? And just trying to get rid of the Victini. I feel like that's gotta be my play. Try to get rid of the Victini and just go into a yawn. Or I can bulldoze. I could bulldoze and proc policy, but I feel like this should just be able to take out Victini no problem after a workup. Unless he's gonna die to match. My problem here is I don't want him to hypnosis me. I'd rather yawn and then set the terrain. Hmm. I can set the terrain right here just so hypnosis can't happen. No, let's do that. Let's proc policy. Let's pull this all around. Proc policy and then drop a max lightning just so we can set the terrain and we can't go to sleep if he's going to go for that hypnosis. That's going to be our play. That will be our play. Kind of worried about the hypnosis, but I'm worried about the Victini at the same time. Fire Pokemon with huge damage ready to roll, but I feel like if we could drop a Max Lightning onto this Pokemon with weakness policy proc, even though it's coverage, it should be able to take out. But I'm scared because I feel like he could definitely Dynamax, right? We are close to 500 HP, which is a ton. Which is a ton. He does not Dynamax, so I feel like we can KO here. I really do feel like we can KO. So we're going to Bulldoze here. We're going to proc policy. I feel like this KO is definitely possible. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Unless this thing... I mean, no, it can't be holding a Wakanberry. I was going to say, unless this thing's holding a Wakanberry. But it cannot be. It wouldn't do anything. Max Lightning's going to fly through here. Does it KO? It does. So beautiful turn from us. We set the terrain. If he wants to go for Hypnosis, that's totally fine. We cannot go to sleep right here. We cannot go to sleep. So if he wants to go for that Hypnosis, I'm all cool with it. That's a smart play by us. Great turn from us. That was awesome all around. There's the Hypnosis. And look at that read. Look at that read. Look at that read! Pristine read! Perfect read! Run it up! Amazing read right there. We are flying. We are doing great right now. Um, I want to yawn a Pokemon with the Slow King at this point. Kind of roll out, but let's see who he ends up bringing out. Gonna end up bringing out Zacian. Um, Steel Spike can KO. But I think I'd rather Quake because of all the special attackers. So I think I am going to Quake here. And just yawn into this Pokemon because, you know, Lunala could be that Pokemon to actually... uh. Lunal could be that Pokemon to Dynamax here. So I'm just gonna go after it. So he does not Dynamax, he's gonna end up protecting Zacian. I'm kinda cool with that. Special defense boost is gonna be good for us. And we still have plenty of trick and turns. So Yon's gonna come out here and oh my god, I what am I doing? What am I doing? I just set the terrain. I always forget about it. <laughs> I just set the terrain and I make a good play and then that happens. That's awful. So we're gonna end up quaking there, doing some big old damage, and um what do I even do with Slowking? What do I do with Slowking? Our special defense is boosted, and he's going to end up going for a Moon Guys Beam. That's fine. That is totally fine. We are boosting special defense. Trickrim is flying. We still have a few good Pokemon in the back end. He still has Dynamax, and Slow King's just going to be able to soak that, no problem. No problem. So it could Quake again, but what other Pokemon could he have in the back end? He could have the Charizard, so in this case, I might just Steel Spike. And see if he wants to swap, because that would be... Hmm. Right? Just in case he wants to swap. I think it's going to be a play. Or do I Lightning this slot? I mean, he has no other physical attackers. Lightning would probably be the most optimal play. Right? Unless he wants to go for Double Protect. Because the Pokemon that I would think he would have in the back end would be a Charizard or a Kyogre. So if he wants to swap, he can swap into one of them. They're going to get hit by Lightning. So we'll see what he wants to do here. He does not swap. He stays in. And we're just going to kill it with a Lightning. So Skull's going to come out here. Give me the burn. I'm looking for the burn here. Chip up damage on this thing. And we don't get the burn. And then we Lightning into the slot. Okay, so Zacian goes down here. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room, which is huge for us. And I can start throwing some double iron bashes around. He's going to Moon Guys Beam again. We're going to be able to soak it up. Thank you, Special Defense Boost. And we're doing really well here. Great reads by us, but I wasted a turn with the Yawn. That one's on me, guys. That one is definitely on me. He brings Slow King to 46. This thing is Leftovers? It's going to be Leftovers. And I wonder who his last Pokemon is. I think it's going to be the Ogre. I think it is going to be the Kyogre. Right, it seems like it's going to be the Kyogre. Let's see. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. It is going to be the Kyogre, which... Uh, it's okay. I have Water Absorb on my Volcanium, which is great. I do have a Soul Fest. Um, I wonder if he's going to Dynamax here. I do wonder if he's going to Dynamax. Uh, from here, what do I do? I could Bulldoze to slow down. I mean, how many turns left in Trick Room? One. I think Bulldoze is going to be a player. Just slow down everybody. Especially them. And then I could go for Thunder Punch. Or I could go for Double Iron Bash. 
I feel like he Dynamaxes Kyogre, so I feel like we have to get off as much damage as we can into this uh into this Lunala slot. So there's gonna be a Dynamax. Is that Kyogre in a Dust Ball? I feel like that would be Lunala. But again, I, I feel like he's Dynamaxing Kyogre. Let's just see what he does. Yep, there's the Kyogre. Kyogre getting the Dynamax. I was gonna drop a Thunder Punch into it, but if he Dynamax, which I think he was gonna do, he's gonna be able to serve pretty well. I mean we have the terrain, it's not stab though. Weakness policy is proc. But I think I'd rather just go for a double Iron Bash and get a chance for Flinch. But I'm bulldozing because Trick Room's gonna end. I could definitely pop it with a uh, Alkia, but I'd rather just slow them down. It makes life ten times easier. It just makes life ten times easier. So he's probably gonna Moon Guys beam into me unless we get a Flinch. Let me kind of go from there. But I wonder if we can eat up a uh, Geyser with a plus one Special Defense. But double Iron Bash is gonna pick up the KO easily. This thing hits like a truck. It hits like an absolute truck. I love Mel Metal and Trick Room. So we hit him two times. What's he going to go for? Probably Geyser and Mel Metal. Yeah, he's going to Geyser and Mel Metal. And I could pop a trick from him if I want, but I'm just going to go for another Bulldoze, I guess. Can we eat that? Do not. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. But from here, I could bring out Palkia. Um, I have Palkia and, what's it called? And Volcanion. I think we're fine. And what's your guys' speed? With that thing minus one, Palkia should be faster. Volcanion might be faster, but... Do I bring out Palkia or do I bring out Volcanion? I mean, I feel like we kind of just posed that Volcani. I mean, he could drop Lightning at that point. But, you know, I'm just going to go to Palkia. Start space running him. Looking for some some good stuff. And I'm waiting for this terrain to end. Because once this terrain ends, I can start yawning into that Pokemon. Which would be really good for us. The pressure is coming out here. Uh, like, do I just go for another Bulldoze? I mean, I think I do. Just so I can make sure my Volcani and outspeeds. I'll Bulldoze. I'm gonna go for the spatial run here. So I know Palkia can already outspeed. But with another minus one, then we can make sure that uh Volcanian outspeeds when he comes out here. So we spatial run, we chip up some damage. I think Palkia can eat up whatever he has to offer. It's gonna be a lightning and it's gonna go into Palkia slot. I'm cool with that. Like I said, Palkia can soak that up. Bulldoze are gonna fly. And we're gonna slow down everybody. So even though Palkia is going minus one, he's going minus two, Palkia can still outspeed, and that just makes my other Pokemon be able to outspeed. And I wonder if my Slow King can actually outspeed now. That would be amazing if I could get off the show on here. That would be amazing. I don't have Protect, so I'm just going to pop another Spatial Ren. Look for a crit here. Look for a lovely little crit. So we're going to Slow play this final battle here. We go for a Spatial Ren. We pick up some damage. And I think he's going to go after Palkia. It would be a big mistake if he doesn't, right? He goes for Lightning, and yeah, he goes after Palkia. That's fine. We kind of had him in like a, a jumbled up situation. We really did because... Oh no, he set the terrain. Oh no. Yawn's gone. Yawn is gone! That kinda hurts. Yawn is gone. It hurts. We were going for it. We were going for it. Does he have one more turn left in Max? We do have the vest. We do indeed have the vest. Oh god. This is tough. This is tough. We're gonna have to throw some scalds, some water moves. Oh no, okay. His Dynamax turns are over. That's big news for us. I dig it a lot. Um I think at this point we just start throwing scalds. And do I do I steam erupt or do I earth power? I think steam eruptions to play. Let's steam erupt at this point. Too much damage we could do with it. We got the rain on our side. I know it's not very effective, but nice little rain boost. Get the sad boost in there as well. Maybe get a burn. Maybe get a burn. We do get the burn. That's some big time burn damage. Big time burn damage. He's gonna end up thundering me. How dare you? Who are you going into? Go into my uh slow king, please. I'm going to Volcanian who eats, so that's pretty much GG, unless you get a paralyzed. Which he does get a paralyzed, that kinda hurts. That kind of hurts. And I can't protect anybody. So if he has double hitting moves, he can KO me here. I mean, no, I have water absorb. I should be fine. And that's GG. I have water absorb. So I'm just going to scald here. Finish off that battle. And then, what's Seam Eruption's accuracy? Might as well go for an Earth Power. Higher accuracy. Have it land. That should be GG's. He can't double hit me. He cannot double hit me. He goes for a Thunder. And we have the Wakanda on the slot. So he was hoping for the... Pa Actually, yeah, he's hoping for the Paralyze here. I swear, yo, if RNG loses me this battle, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry, yo. Do not miss this attack. I'm going to miss it. I already know it. I already know it. Oh, thank you, Volcanion. I love you. I love you, Volcanion. I love you. Coming in clutch for me. Solid battle from us all around. Make some great reads in the beginning, and we end up picking up that W. What a first battle to get this video started. Granted, I yawned twice in the electric terrain, but it happens. I always forget about the terrain. It's every here and there. I'm good with it. But uh, we're hopping into our second battle here, and I think we're going up against one of the strongest teams in Series 13. Like, this team is just absolutely powerhouse filled. It's got the uh, Shadow Rider Calyx, the Zacian, the Double Weather Pokemon with Groudon and Kyogre, and then Shrocking the Feltal and Intimidate. 
Incineroar. How should I go into this one? How should I play? I could go into Slow King again to pop a Trick Room. I feel like that could be a decent play. And then we could go in with Amoongus. Um, or I could go Palkia and Amoongus, which kind of seems like a better option at this point. Right? It seems pretty strong. I mean, he could go in with, uh, what is that Pokemon? Palorex, but I feel like we're fine at that point. I feel like we are fine at that point. So I'm just going to go Amoongus. I am going to go Palkia and we're going to roll from there. Okay, we'll bring Melmetal in the back end if we're going to pop a Trick Room. And then, I mean, he could lead Incineroar, which could be a pain. Incineroar could be a pain to lead. Um, hmm. I mean, we're still going to do that. We're going to go with them too. And then I'm just going to bring my own Incineroar. He has a few physical attackers in the back end. And wouldn't be able to rock out with it. But yeah, this battle is definitely going to be tough. Hopefully, we can pick ourselves up a win here and go 2-0, rolling into battle number three. But I don't know, man. Tough team. Tough team coming out here. We're just going to have to make some good plays. We're going to have to make some good plays. Let's see who he ends up leading. I think he's going to lead maybe like Incineroar, Shadowbound, Calyrex, kind of. Right? That makes a lot of sense. But let's just see. I'm hoping no Incineroar, right? Incineroar crowd on. So Incineroar does come out here. Um, what do I do here? Uh, I, I think I should go Trick Room, maybe Spore. Does Rage Powder come out before Trick Room? Or before, what's it called? Before Fake Out? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I kind of hope it does, but... I don't know if it does. I could Dynamax and just get after this. I could. I would love to pop the Trick Room though. I'm gonna go for Trick Room and do I go for the Rage Powder or do I just go for the Spore? I'm just gonna go for the Spore right in this. It's gonna be my play. Let's see what he does. I'm gonna go straight for the Spore and for the Trick Room. We'll see what he wants to do here. I mean, if he flare butts this into my uh, Moongus slot, that's totally fine. But yeah, I'm going to go for this Trick Room here. But I can bring out Melmetal and get some work done. But at the same time, Melmetal can get right back. Hmm. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So he Dynamax is Groudon. Right off the rip, ready to roll. Probably going to try, try and drop some Quakes into me. All that good stuff. Let's see what he does here. He's going to go for the Fake Out. No Fake Out coming out here. He's going straight for a Quake. Into Palkia, probably? I could have Rage Power shot. So, in the Palkia, are you gonna try to take out my Palkia or are you gonna Flare Blitz into my? What are you gonna do here? What is this guy doing here? Just Defense is boosted. He's going straight for a Taunt into a Moongus. I'm cool with that because I get off my Trick Room. I get off this lovely little Trick Room. So, Trick Room's out and about. I can Palm Puff into Palkia and I could Dynamax Palkia if I wanted to. I could Dynamax Palky if I want to, but I really don't want to. I'm just going to straight up Earth Power right into Incineroar. And I'm just going to Palm Puff just to keep the HP rolling. Right? Yeah, Palm Puff right into Palky. See if we can eat up another shot. Let's see how this one plays. Palm Puff coming out here. Bouncing around. Give Palky some HP back. Hopefully, we can eat up another Max Quake at that point. Let's see. I think we can. I think we can, which would be beautiful. So this thing is just going to straight up Parting Shot into my Moongus. Why into my Moongus? Oh, that's a little odd, but I'll take that. I'll take that. And who you got to swap into? Who are you swapping into? Because right now, we're just wasting out these Dynamax turns. Let's swap it. Oh, great call. He's going to swap into Yveltal. So Yveltal is going to get that. I mean, I could Dynamax Palkia, but I don't know. I don't like it with this all these special defense boosts. He's going to Quake again. We're just going to waste out these turns. We're just going to waste out these turns. He's wasting out Trick Room. Oh, we, cool. We were able to eat that up. Um... Hmm. Do I still Palm Puff? He's just destroying me in damage right now, but I feel like we're fine. I have Cobra Berry. Um, could I just go for a Spatial Run? I might do. Yeah, I think I'm just going to Spatial Run into that, and uh, I guess we'll double down with a Palm Puff. Because even if we Palm Puff or Palkey, he's going to go down to whatever Groudon's going to have to do. So he wastes out all these turns. I can bring out my Metal after this and kind of get rolling with that. Oh, he has Sucker Punch. How dare you. How dare you have Sucker Punch? How dare you? And I think he just flares me and takes me out. This thing does show its orb, though. It does indeed show its orb. We're going to Palm Puff straight over to it. Chip up a little bit of damage. Get it, Amoongus. And then he's going to flare me and take me out. I'm kind of cool with that. The Dynamax turns are over. He just got special defense boost. I mean, I have two physical attackers left. And we're going to get out here and Dynamax Mel Metal. Mel Metal, let's get after it, baby. Let's get after it, dude. I mean, we still have weakness policy. Let's see how this one plays out here. But, uh, what should I do? I mean, Incineroar's not looking bad, especially in this heat. Not looking bad, especially in the heat. But what Pokemon do you just swap out? 
Who was it again? It was Incineroar on his own. So I am just going to start boosting special or physical defense here with my uh, Mel Metal. The Animaxim. I think we have like two more turns left in Trick Room, which could be good for us. Incineroar is definitely scaring me in the back end, but yeah, two turns left in Trick Room. Pretty solid. So I'm just going to go for a Steel Spike. Again, boost the special defense and then go straight into Fire Blitz. Yeah, I'm going to Fire Blitz you, Melta. And the Drought. Let's get ripping with it. Let's get ripping. He's going to withdraw the Evelto. He's going to go into Incineroar. Ah, I hate this game. I don't like this game one bit. It's home proc by weakness policy. Just proc my policy, please. He's going to intimidate me. This is not looking too hot for us. Start off nicely with a Trick Room, but I think we, maybe we should have Dynamaxed the Palkia there. But he's just going to hard swap back the Incineroar. Just keep constantly doing that as much as you can. So we're going to hope for some big damage. Hope for some crits. And we're going to hope he procs our weakness policy. Which would be gorgeous. Because we will be defense boosted. He will be minus one. We should be able to soak him up pretty well. And the weakness policy proc could really bring us back into this game here. Let's see. Seal Spike's coming out here. Shipping up some damage. How much damage are we really going to do? Wow, we KO. We KO with that. Mel oh, it was a crit. Mel Metal plays no games. He plays no games. So we get rid of him. Flare Blitz is going to fly on the left side. Again, he's just going to swap in Cinemor. And depending on who he brings out, we might predict the swap. But we don't know yet. We do not know yet. We're going to Flare Blitz, do a little bit of damage, slowly chip up, and Incineroar is just going to take a bit of recoil. But uh, yeah, I could take out Incineroar right here, right now with a Quake. But again, if he swaps into the Veltal, then it will be a problem. But he actually brings out Yveltal on this slot. So I feel like we just get rid of Incineroar, right? What other Pokemon could he be rolling out into? Zacian? Wait, Zacian could be a play. I mean, it's either Zacian, Kyogre, Shadow Rider, Kallax. And all of them don't, won't really fare too well to this Max Quake. I'm just going to Quake straight in this slot. And then I could Snarl. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Snarl while the Yveltal's on the field. Because if he swaps into a special attacker... We will get off a of snarl, but again, I think he's gonna swap. But I'm hoping he does, and I would rather just take out this instant one, no problem. Be a nice place for us. This is last turn left in Trick Room, which kinda sucks. It's last turn left in Trick Room, so Snarl could actually benefit us. He protects you about all good thing we're not going after it. And I think he's staying in with uh with Incineroar. So this should be able to KO, even though we're minus one. Should be able to pick up a nice KO here, right? We do not. That hurts, man. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Don't you dare parting shot into me. Don't you dare parting shot into me. He flare butts. Okay, so he's going to proc policy. going to be close. He's going to be real close. I thought it was going to be scary close. It's going to be scary close right here. He's going to die to the snarl here, which is huge. So he drops down to the snarl. Oh my god. This battle's going to be way too... He dodges. Yo. Out my face. Actually, that might work a little bit better. I do not know. Trick Room's gone. We still have a turn in Dynamax. I definitely want to Lightning this slot and get rid of it. all. And then at this point, uh, just Snarl, I guess. Again, in case he swaps instantly. In case he wants to swap instantly. This one's going to be way close. Way, way close. Because Juvelta's going to die to this Lightning, no problem. We're plus one on attack. Unless he parting shots us here. Which he could definitely do. My Incineroar might outspeed and just be able to drop him to Snarl. Which would be really beneficial for us. Velto's going to foul play. It does a nice amount of damage. He's going to take some life orb. We're going to go first. Beautiful. So Snarl's going to come out here, take out the Incineroar. We're going to take out your Velto this turn. And it comes into a 2v1 situation. And I feel like it's got to be Zacian in the back end, right? I feel like it's got to be Zacian. This battle's coming real close. Because I don't know who he wants to take take out. I don't know if he can do enough damage. To take out. I should have probably Steel Spike there. Predicting the Zacian. But I need to get rid of that. I needed to indeed get rid of it. So we have the electric terrain rolling out here. Battle's gonna be super close. He's gonna have Pokemon Smash to me. We're hoping it's not Shadow Rider or Kai Ogre. I feel like both of those guys are problems. We're hoping it's Zacian, right? It is Zacian. Okay. So he can only solo hit me. I can flare blitz him. I can double iron bash, but I wonder who's gonna KO. That's a real question. I wonder who he's going to go after here. I could make a protect here. I could definitely protect. But I feel like there's a chance he might go after Incineroar. I should have protected Mel Metal, shouldn't I? Sacred Swords, can we eat that? No, I should have protected Mel Metal. If I protect the Mel Metal there, we win. 
We win 100%, but now we lose, right? Should have protected Melmetal. I said it too. I said it too. Can we get a crit? Oh my god, was that a crit or are you just the best? Ew, oh my god, Pokey Gods. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. We get a crit and we win the match, yo. I, I apologize to our opponent there because I would have been freaking out if that was me. I can't believe we just got a crit to win that battle. I feel like the Pokey Gods were just like, Jeans, you definitely should have protected. You said you should have protected it. We'll give you this one. So that's exactly what they did. We are sitting at 2 0. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But we're going up against a really, really cool team. And if. It feels like there's a lot of gimmicks to it. Because this is high rank ladder. This guy is about 1,500 in the world right now. It's Necrozma, Wigglytuff, Jinx, Amoogus, Dragapult, and Kyogre. So like I said, definitely a lot of tricks up his sleeve. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I am kind of scared of the uh, the Amoogus. So I might just go Incineroar for a lead and pop trick him with Palkia. That feels like a safe play. Bring Melmetal in the back end. And then we could go Amoogus. We could indeed go Amoogus, but I just don't feel like that's the play. Good Volcanion. Volcanion is just a ton of fun. I'm going to go Volcanion here. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look for a perfect record for today's video. 2-0 right now. Doing solid with the team. I'm really loving the team. Really fun to use. Uh, Melmetal, like I said, in Trick Room is just an absolute menace to society. It's way too hard to take out legit anybody in one shot unless they have a defense boost. But yeah, he, he's just super, super strong. But they're going to end up leading who? Kyogre and Polt. So Kyogre and Polk get the lead. I'm not upset about that. I mean, he could end up Dynamaxing uh, Kyogre here. Which I think he is going to do. And I'm just going to hard swap into Volcanion at this point. Just in case he wants to go straight into a Geyser. We can turn and we can pop Trick Room. I'm kind of with that. Right? Because he's probably sitting there thinking, okay, I can't fake out the Dragapult because he's Ghost. Let me Dynamax this, uh, this Kyogre. So I'm going to hard swap. I'm going to make the lead that the water or like a Geyser is coming in hot. And then I'm just going to pop the trick room. And we're going to play this one slow. That's my play all day. Or he could Dynamax Drag Ball. He has a lot of different options here, which could be scary. We shall see. We shall see. Because again, I think he's going to Dynamax that, uh, that Kyogre. It just seems like what he's going to do, right? So, so he can't be faked out. So obviously he wants to uh, spout. But he's sitting there, he's like, dude, if I get faked out, it could be a problem. I'm going to swap out my Incineroar. Or bring in the one and only Volcanion with that lovely water absorb. And show me the Dynamax on the Kyogre slot. Did I make the good call? Did I make the read? Did Jeans make the loop read? Unless it's this Dragapult. Unless it's Polsky. Nah, yo, yo, Jeans is making some good reads today. I'm making some great reads today. Show me he's going into Geyser. He's got to be going into that Geyser. That's got to be one of the best calls i made in a while. I'm making some good calls today. I feel like my reads are good. Show me the geyser. I'm gonna go for a hydro pump. I'm gonna water absorb. Hydro pump and end geyser, maybe? And he's gonna lightning into the slot. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm really cool with that turn. I am really cool with that turn. Don't mind that turn one bit. The solid turn. I'll save my trick room for Mel Metal. I'll start spatial running into the uh into the Kyogre slot, and then I am just going to drop steam eruptions right into the giant pool slot. Actually, do I? Or do I go for something else? I would do more damage. I mean, stabbing in the rain, I feel like, does the most damage. So I'm just going to steam eruption. Plus, it's 111. And obviously, I could spatial run take this thing out. Hmm. What do I do? I think I spatial run take that thing out. Let's do that instead. Let's roll into... I could go for Earth Power. Look for a special defense drop. I think I'm going to do. I'm going to look, look for a special defense drop there. And I'm just going to spatial run straight into this uh, hold slot. He swaps, he swaps. He's gonna withdraw. Dang it. He going into. Fairy Pokemon. Amoongus. Amoongus. Earth Power's gonna fly. Give me that special defense drop. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I do not get it. I never get it. He's gonna lightning in the volcano and you should be able to soak this up, right? You don't? Even with that vest? Even with that vest? Come on, Volcano. Come on, dude. You're better than that. But now we're worried about this trick room Amoongus here. And I'm really curious to who is... Ooh, good damage, Palkia. Great damage, Palkia. And I'm curious to who is slower. Actually, I could fake it out right here. I could fake it out, but I'm curious to who's slower. Could you be slower? I mean, you can't you can't put me to sleep, which is great because the terrain is out and about. And you might rage pound the shot. So at this point, I'm just going to go straight into Mel Metal. Um, I'm going to Dynamax him, get my Trick Room value out of him. And how many turns left in Trick Room? Three? 
three. That's good. So it can't put me to sleep, which is just gorgeous. So I might just go. I could go for a lightning. But I think going for a seal spike is going to be the better bet, right? What other Pokemon does he have in the back? I guess Pult. And I'm guessing Necrozma, right? I had to guess Necrozma, so. I just feel like going into the Steel Spike is going to play. I'm going to Steel Spike. And then I'm going to try to pull off. Okay. Good thing the terrain's out because you cannot spore me, dude. You can leave me alone with that. You can leave me alone. I wonder what he's going to go for. Probably Rage Powder. But yeah. That's a perfect time Dynamax to get my three Dynamax turned in Trick Room. And we're not sitting in a bad spot. I'm surprised Volcano died. I wish I would have gotten off one more turn with him. Because again, dude, he was vested. The dude is vested. Kyogre's rocking with a uh, with a coverage move, but granted, it is in terrain and he got that boost. He's gonna end up protecting, which is a smart protect. But uh, yeah, this one plays. Hopefully, maybe we can KO through a steel spike through a protect. But I don't think we can. Super close, real close though. So we can reach out. It was a crit. Wow. Was indeed a crit. So he could rage powder next shot if he wanted to, which is rather smart. And he's gonna go for that lightning. He is going to take out Palkia, or can you eat that? Probably actually slower than Palkia. Wow, Kyogre, leave me alone. Crit again. Okay, so crits are just flying. Crits are just flying. Pokey God evens the field. He always gives back. He always gives back. <laughs> Incineroar's gonna come out here. Uh, can Fake Out take out? If Fake Out can KO, that's big time. That's big time. So I can fake out and I can lightning onto the Kyogre slot. I could proc policy if I want to in the rain, which wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I feel like I just have to lightning that slot. Just drag a pull. I feel like he has to. Gotta get rid of Pokemon. So yeah, I'm just gonna lightning here. And I'm gonna hope that this fake out can take out a Moogus. I mean, it forces him to not be able to use Rage Powder, so. I'm cool with that. See how this one plays. But I'm hoping it can just KO. We can KO with the lightning and then we can get off another turn of Dynamax while he has the two. Different Pokemon out on the field. We shall see, but that's a that's a thick chunk of damage. I don't know if Fake Out can actually finish that off. Would be beautiful if it does. Would be gorgeous. But we'll see. We shall see. Make a move, my guy. The Mel Metal is rocking out in today's video. Doing really, really good. Like I said, I could proc policy if I want to. He's gonna end up withdrawing you. Okay, and he's gonna go into Dragapult, maybe? No, the Christmas can come back out here. And dude, this guy's protecting up a storm. He's protecting up a storm here. There's no bueno. Fake out coming in hot. Mwah. Chipping up doing like two, two and a half damage. And he's gonna get regenerated from that Amoongus too. But we get rid of the Palky here. No, we don't. Why that dude like no damage? Oh, he's protected. My fault. <laughs> I forgot. He was protected. Um, I could lightning this slot. It'd definitely be our play. Uh, what do I wanna do? I could also quake. But now nah, I'm just gonna keep the lightnings flying on this slot. And I could snarl, but again, this could be policy. Could be policy. It's still raining? It is raining. I think I'm just gonna snarl. Hmm. I think it's prison armor. Okay. It's not, it doesn't have, I'm gonna partner shot in that. It doesn't have a uh, full metal body. It's prison armor. So he's gonna withdraw. He's gonna go back into the movies here, right? Ah, right, dang, this dude's annoying me at this point. <laughs> can we KO with this lightning? I don't know if we can. Lightning coming in hot. Can we KO you? I'm not trying to get swept here. We do not. This is tough news. It's tough news. Pardon shots coming out of here. Whew. Can't get swept. Our opponent's playing great. Our opponent's playing great. We had some great calls from us. But he was just sitting there doing all the, what's it called? The protects. The swaps. Everything about it was just great turns, but... That is going to take out the uh, trick room. The rain's gone. I feel like we just uh, finish off a Moongus here. Moongus could protect. But he's got to go. Moongus has got to go. So I could flare butts into Necrozma here. I could even high horsepower. Double Iron Bash is nice though. I really like using that move. But I'm just going to go for the high horsepower. And... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Party shot again. Uh, should have flare butts. Exactly what I'm gonna do. He swaps a Moongus gun, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm just, <laughs> I just don't wanna get swept here. I really just don't wanna get swept here. Lead the Moongus in. Take a death. Oh my god. Protecting a Moongus. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We did party shot in this thing. He's gonna rock slows again. I swear, if you get some flinches, I'm gonna cry a little bit. What item am I holding with the, uh, with the, uh, 
or what's it called? Did I miss my high horsepower? Oh, mm, oh, uh, hey, mm, uh, yeah. All right, I'm thunder punching in this slot just in case he wants to swap into. Uh, just in case he wants to swap into what's it called? Kai over here. Tough news, yo. Rock slide coming out here. Rock slide is coming out here. Can you not flinch me this time? Can you not give me a flinch? Zenora is going to get a flare blitz. Should have taken out the move because I know I'm going to flinch with no metal. Some big time damage instantly. We like that damage. We got a crit. Dude. Crits are flying left and right. No metal, I need you here. Good work, my metal. Okay, so we finish off Amoongus. He's dead. Cool. No sweep. No sweep coming out here, and now we're sitting in a really tough position here. He has so many Pokemon that can do a lot of work on him. I mean, Mel Metal's... I feel like he can maybe make a comeback. I do not know. He's gonna go back into Kyogre, right? Or is he pulling it? I'm bring out Pole. So Pole comes out here. I'm cool with that. I am just gonna double Iron Bash and look for KO. And then I am going to try to finish off that thing. Like, that's all I can do. I think he rock slides, but hopefully he misses a rock slide. I feel like he's due to miss a rock slide. He's going to go for a fire blast. Oh, that's scary. That is scary. This thing is ripping with its moves. It has, it has Hydro Pump, Fire Blast. This thing is just ripping. Just ripping with its moves. And that's going to be GG. But we don't get swept in battle number three. We grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. My man Gale, another huge shout out to you for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I absolutely loved it. It was definitely a little bit off meta-ish, and it was still strong at the same time. We have Canyon, we have the Mel Metal, we have the Slow King, and then we grabbed ourselves a winning record, which is absolutely amazing, and made some great reads in today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know all my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.